Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and yes, this is my first ROM review for your Samsung Galaxy S4, and this is the Slim ROM. Okay guys, so as I said, today I'm going to be reviewing the Slim ROM for your Galaxy S4. So, this supports right now the AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint Galaxy S4s. Sadly, Verizon is new, so it does not support Verizon yet, and I have not found it on the International S4 yet. So, this is not an official build. These are just some basically alpha builds that are very, very stable. The version I'm running right now actually is... 5.6.2 If we go into about phone should say somewhere here version 5.6 and up unofficial the version that will be official will probably be 6.0 for the Galaxy S4 all of them which should be out very soon so you can see it is Android 4.2.2 of course you can tell that this is not TouchWiz anymore Sadly, when you do install this, you will lose everything TouchWiz. Of course, you can always go back to your TouchWiz if you don't like it, as long as you made a backup of your ROM. Uh, so if you want to know how to flash this ROM, I'll have the link down below showing you how to flash a ROM on the S4, and also a video on how to install a custom recovery on any Galaxy S4. Okay, so what you want to do first, or, sorry, let's get into the ROM. So, right here you can tell that everything is AOSP, and that's what this ROM is, AOSP. You basically get stock Android with a lot of cool features added. When you first boot up your phone on this ROM, everything will be very, very small. You want to go to Interface, General. LCD density and then go through this method and once you get to number six click custom and type in 480 and that will get you back to the how it looks right now uh, when you're rebooting the device and it's not booting up then pull the battery and plug it back in and then reboot that's when you're doing that method because sometimes it wasn't rebooting for me so some of the really cool features that you do get, if we go into display, you do get the CRT screen off animation. You can customize your battery light, notification light, and your touch key light right here, how long you want it awake. So you can customize all that stuff. Here we can also customize if you want to have the volume rocker wake, so you can wake up your phone with your volume rocker. If we go back, here we can disable and enable hardware keys, which is really, really cool. So you can basically end up disabling all your hardware keys, and you can give other keys different tasks to complete. So we could have the back key do something like quick settings panel. So if I hold it, there you go, quick settings panel opens. So yes, those are all customizable. Here we do get general, that's where you can customize LCD density. You can have tablet dual panel mode, which will split the view of your settings. We could enable a custom carrier label here, a low battery warning, and recent RAM bar when you're holding to see all this stuff. We could customize our keyboard and input methods, which will just take us to the normal language settings. Lock screen, we could customize what widgets we want there, so we could enable the camera widget. Um, and any other widgets you want, we could enable portrait widget carousel, which looks really good too. Once we go back, back again. Of course, you can enable a navigation bar right here. So if you want to enable the navigation bar, there you go. Um... With such a big phone, you shouldn't have a problem with enabling the navigation bar. And if you like it, then you can enable it and disable all these buttons as I showed you before. So that is very customizable. You can change the colors, the buttons, 
all this good stuff to change the settings of your navigation bar. So once we go back, if we go into notification drawer, we can change the style of the notification drawer like the transparency. And we can also go to quick settings panel, tiles and layout, and we could add more toggles and take away toggles if you wish. It's a really cool feature to have. If we go lower, we do get power menu. So we can enable expand desktop, hide taskbar. And we can also enable screenshots. So that's when you're holding the power button. You get this pop up right here and all these options now of what you want to do. So then we do get Slim Pie, which is, if you haven't heard, Pie features from Paranoid Android that was ported over. And let me enable it for you guys right now. So there you go, that's Slim Pie. Yours is not going to look like this when you first install it. You customize it and choose how you want it to be. So you can go into Styles and Dimensions, change all the colors. Trigger options where you want to trigger the pie. You could customize the buttons you want there if you want a second layer and some other things right here. I'm going to disable that for right now. We do get sound, so we can customize if we want a camera shutter sound, which is really cool. For some reason, you don't need that, then you could disable it. The safe headset volume, so you could disable if you don't want that pop up coming up. We could customize volume adjust sound, volume panel style, and volume rocker music controls. So when you're listening to music and your phone is off, you can use the volume rockers to skip. If you hold them, you can skip to the next song or go back to your last song. It's really cool there. And if we go lower, we could customize our status bar, customize the background style, and then the icon. So we could actually go in here and change which battery we want to have out of all these choices and you can change the color too to whatever you want and the circle animation speed of course we could also add a battery bar which is a huge bar going at the top of your screen which will show you how much battery you have left clock and date can also be customized you can add a small date and you can choose the style you want it and the format you can choose if you just want the day or if you want the date too and the month so it's really cool and guys I think that's about it so I highly suggest trying this ROM out that's just some of its basic features you can also go into stuff like performance and customize the processor underclock it overclock it whatever you want and yeah, it's really great ROM. First one out. Uh, I look forward to making a lot more ROM reviews. So make sure to subscribe uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this. Make sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video. Please hit like. And make sure to share this video out there so more people could see it. And I would really appreciate it. Also, check out my website. I'll have the link down below, www dot from techkid.com well yeah guys i think that's about it and thanks for watching